So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247 where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. All right, so let's begin with the session and let's talk about the very first question. So this question says, which of the following organizations had developed investment clearing cell which provides all requisite central and state clearances or approvals required to start businesses operations in India. And this is something which is not new. This investment clearing cell was launched as a part of national single window system in the year 2021 itself. But since it is in news because of one of the replies submitted by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry in the Parliament and that is why we are discussing it. All right. So let's talk about investment clearing cell. So remember this was announced to be set up in the union budget of 2020-21 which means the previous financial year. It was announced in the budget of previous financial year that is 2021 and it was launched in the month of April 2021. April 2021 launched kar diya gaya tha by Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Now what is the objective of <coughs> establishing this cell? Kyu manaya gaya tha isko? So remember this cell facilitates end-to-end -end facilitation support including including what including pre-investment advisory is my pre-investment advisory di jati hai investors ko number one number two all the information related to land banks are provided to the investors and finally the very important all the facility uh, related to clearances at the central level and the state level are also provided at this single window system all right so this is the objective of establishing of this investment clearing cell and by the ministry of commerce and industry it is remember a one-stop digital platform to obtain all the requisite central and state clearances or approvals which are required to start any type of business operations in the country and with the and due to this with the establishment of this portal this cell this single window system now there is no need uh, for the investors to visit multiple platforms or offices Ab usko dusre alag -alag multiple platforms pe ya offices mein ke hai. he can gather all the prerequisite information required for setting up a business in the country at this particular single window system or we can say the investment clearance cell all right and it was developed by dpiit along with invest india and of course dpiit is the department for promotion of industry and internal trade which works under the ministry of commerce and industry all right so ye hame basic cheezes ke bare mein pata honi chahiye because it is in news so now let's come back to the question which of the following organizations had developed it so it was developed by dpiit department for promotion of industry and internal trade which works under the ministry of commerce and industry which is headed by mr piyush goel all right so i hope this question is clear and now let's talk about question number two what is the question number two what is the theme of sujalam 2.0 campaign which was launched by union ministry of jal shakti who is the minister of jal shakti it's Mr. Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, his Lok Sabha constituency is Jodhpur. Jodhpur, which is of course is in Rajasthan. Alright. So they are asking the theme of Sujalam 2.0 campaign. So if you remember the similar campaign, Sujalam 1.0 was launched last year also. So this is for this upcoming year. So Sujalam 2.0 will launch you in the Alright. So the news is that the Union Ministry of Jal Shakti has launched Sujalam 2.0 campaign. Now, what is the objective behind launching this campaign? Q launch kiya hai. So remember, it has been launched for grey water management. Kisli launch kiya gaya isko grey water management ke liye. What is the grey? What is the meaning of grey water here? So all the waste water. Jo waste water hai, all the waste water from the households or from any office buildings, uh, ex excluding the fecal contamination. Without the fecal contamination, jo waste water hota hai, usko bolte grey water. So for grey water management, this campaign Sujalam 2.0 has been launched by Ministry of Jal Shakti. And what is the theme? It is groundwater making the invisible visible. Groundwater making the invisible visible is the theme of Sujalam 2.0 campaign. And what will happen under this campaign? So uh, a collaborative effort from various stakeholders like from various communities, panchayat, schools, anganwadis will be undertaken for grey water management. So a collaborative effort hoga from all these stakeholders, so that grey water ka management kiya ja sake, achhe se. 
right so this is about ujjam 2.0 campaign now please remember there is no need to go into the details of this campaign theek hai there is no need unnecessary aapka time waste hoga aur kuch nahi hoga pib ka agar aap khol ke dekhoge ye wala jo news hai kafi lamba chauda hai so please don't waste your time in reading the complete news from pib i am doing it for you na so please take advantage of that so what is the theme the question is regarding the theme it's ground water making the invisible visible option a is the correct answer and now let's talk about question number 3 how much one time cash assistance is provided to identified manual scavengers under self employment scheme for rehabilitation of manual scavengers so first of all is it a new scheme no it is not a new scheme it is already under implementation by ministry of social justice and empowerment who is the minister dr virendra kumar dr virendra kumar is the minister for social justice and empowerment so we are discussing it because a reply was submitted by the ministry of social justice and empowerment regarding the steps that the ministry is taking to assess the scourge of manual scavenging all right so let's talk about what are the steps that have been taken by the government of india through ministry of social justice and empowerment number one there is a scheme under implementation which is self employment scheme for rehabilitation of manual scavengers under this the government provides rupees uh, 40000 as one time cash assistance to the identified manual scavengers 40000 rupees ka one time cash assistance diya jata hai number 2 manual cleaning of septic tanks and sewers is being resorted to in almost all part of the country jo manual scavenging thi septic tanks ki uske upar rok laga di gayi hai aur agar kahin pe bhi ho bhi rahi hai to us pe rok laga diya jaye all right number 3 according to a supreme court judgment compensation of rupees 10 lakh is paid to the families of those who have died while cleaning any sewer or any septic tank agar koi scavenger koi uh, septic tank ya fir sewer saaf karte hue uski death ho jati hai to 10 lakh rupaye compensation uski family ko diya jata hai number 3 number 4 swachhata udyami yojana is under implementation by the ministry under which concessional loan up to a maximum rupees 50 lakh is provided to the sanitation workers and their dependents for what for procurement of sanitation related equipments machines and vehicles sanitation se related agar koi machine hai koi equipment hai ya koi vehicle hai usko kharidne ke liye concessional loans loans at the concessional rate of interest are being provided under this swachhata udyami yojana next is the recognition of prior learning program under the pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana under this uh, recognition of prior learning program pre short duration upskilling training uh, is provided to the scavengers across the country so these are some of the steps that have been taken by the government of india now these are very beautiful points you can make use of these points in any of your brains answer which is related to manual scavenging dekho ye sai hai aapke syllabus mein social issues hai ye bahut bada social issue hai वेलफेयर ऑफ मैनुअल स्केवेंजर्स अगर इससे रिलेटेड कोई क्वेश्चन आता है या लेट से अगर क्वेश्चन नहीं भी आता है डायरेक्ट बट इफ यू वांट टू मेक यूज ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स इन एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इन विच आपको लगता है कि आपको मैनुअल स्केवेंजर्स के वेलफेयर का जिक्र करना चाहिए तो देर यू कैन यूज दीज पॉइंट राइट एंड ये पॉइंट मैंने तो बताया नहीं है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने बताया है सो बहुत ही ज्यादा वैलिड पॉइंट है तो यू कैन यू शुड मेक यूज ऑफ ऑल दीज एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन question is regarding the self employment scheme for rehabilitation of manual scavengers and they are asking that how much what time cash assistance so how much is that rupees 40000 option e 40000 should be the correct answer because that is the amount uh, which is provided as the one time cash assistance to the identified manual scavengers all right so i hope this question number 3 is clear and now let's talk about question number 4 how much Amount of annual procurement has been attained by government e-marketplace within financial year 2021-22. So government e-marketplace has achieved a remarkable target in this financial year, and it was declared by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry that the government e-marketplace has attained the overall uh, procurement of rupees one lakh crore before the ending of this financial year, which means within the financial year 2021-22. the government of emark the government e marketplace has already attained the procurement of rupees 1 lakh crore and this makes it 
the world's largest e marketplace or you can say the world's largest marketplace for the government procurement all right itna bada marketplace kisi bhi duniya mein kisi bhi government ka nahi right? so this is the news that the government e marketplace has attained the annual procurement of rupees 1 lakh crore within this financial year so since government e marketplace is in news we have to discuss about it all right so what is this it is basically an online procurement platform for government buyers so government buyers hai government department ke andar agar koi saman kisi ko khareedna hai then that saman should be uh, bought uh, through this government e marketplace all right before this there was directorate general of supplies and disposals and this government e marketplace replaced this directorate general it was established it was formed it was formulated in the year 2016 by ministry of commerce and industry and since then it is the only marketplace where any type of uh, government procurement can be done all right it is owned by gem spv special purpose vehicle which is 100% government of india owned company and it is a non for profit company under the ministry of commerce and industry and who is the current ceo by the way prashant kumar singh is the current ceo of government e marketplace you should remember this also because you never know ki is bar government e marketplace se hi koi question aa jaye all right so therefore the correct answer will be what option a rupees 1 lakh crore because the question is regarding the uh, annual procurement of this financial year 1 lakh crore is the correct answer and the last question for today question number 5 which of the following ministries had developed e shram portal for creating a national database of unorganized worker again it is not a, a new portal it was launched last year in the year 2021 now the objective behind e launching e shram portal was to collect the data of the unorganized workers across the country now what is the benefit of collecting the data of unorganized worker now what type of data is by the way like name occupation educational qualification address etc etc everything related to that or on organized worker is uh, is provided on this ishram portal all right now the benefit is that jab government ke paas se pura data aa jayega then what government can do the government can easily provide the government can easily transfer the social security benefits to these unorganized worker through this data collected through the ishram portal so that is the objective behind launching this ishram portal last year all right and it was launched by ministry of labor and employment which is headed by mr bhupendra yadav which is headed by mr bhupendra yadav who is also the minister of environment forest and climate change so option b here is the correct answer all right so guys that's it for today's session and if you want to have an online preparation you can buy this crash course and you can buy this crash course on this app anujindal dot in and they, on this app you can get daily gk and quizzes exam updates top strategies and you can download it from your google play all right and if you want to ask anything related to examination you can follow me here and if you want to have the pdf of this session along with marked answers you can join the telegram channel jiska link you can find in the description all right so that's it for the session i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section Thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless